This video that you're about to watch was originally recorded for my Patreon, but I thought that the topics covered in this video could reach further than that and potentially help somebody from a wider audience. In this video, it's just me talking to a microphone while having a chart in front of me, but I think it's an important talk and an important realization that you have to make as a day trader. And it's about becoming profitable as your foundation and then optimizing off of that instead of doing it in reverse. And I think many traders fail because they try to do it in reverse. Now, I use some technical analysis examples from how I trade, but this is going to be applicable to you no matter how you trade, no matter what technical analysis you use. Just listen to the words I'm saying and listen to what I'm speaking about. Now, if you want to learn more from me or like what I'm saying, you could join my free Discord down in the description where there's also a Patreon tier with hundreds of hours of exclusive educational content. Now, that is not the purpose of this video. I just figured if you're going to watch this video, you should know that. Now, before we start, if you're a new trader or if you're a struggling trader, I advise you to watch this video in its entirety. Don't skip around. Don't leave the video. If you leave the video just because it's not about technical analysis or you think trading psychology is boring, then you're not ready to be a day trader. You're not. You can't sit down and listen to somebody who knows what they're talking about. Talk about trading psychology. In my opinion, the most important part of being a trader then you're not ready for everybody else. Let's get into the video today. I wanted to talk about um, it, it is on the charts and it's about trade execution and how you should be trading as somebody who's new to this. OK, so. I see a problem quite often with people who will get done with all the content on Patreon or they'll get to a point where they're starting to trade, for example, and then they will just try to be me right off the bat. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean, they'll try to get the same risk reward as me. They'll try to optimize the same way as me. They'll try to get tight stops like I do. Um, you know, they'll try to catch the same exact trades as me, etc. And they'll forget about the basics. And what do I mean? You can't trade like me right off the bat. You won't be able to. It's not going to happen. You can eventually, but right off the bat, you can't. And what I'm going to talk about today is getting your baseline profitable because that's what's important, right? You, you don't, if you look like this as a trader, let me pull this up here. If you look like this, this is your chart and this is your baseline. Let's say your account equity starts here and you look like this as a trader and this is your baseline. Why are you trying to optimize yourself? Why are you trying to get bigger risk to reward? Why are you trying to take trades for bigger targets? What are you doing? Why are you trying to get tighter stops? Why are you trying to do any of that? It's not going to help you. It's only going to harm you. And I see so many people doing this. And today I want to talk about it, how to get your baseline to profitable, because I believe everybody's baseline should be profitable. Everybody's. I don't care who you are. Um, if you watch through all the content, if you know anything about any TA, your baseline should be profitable. Your baseline should look like this. It should either be break even or very slightly profitable. If you could be break even or very slightly profitable for 30 to 50 trades in a row, and ideally that spanned over, you know, a, a good month of trading. So I don't want to say 30 or 50 trades because you might take a ton of trades per day. If you could be break even or profitable for a month of consistent trading, then we could talk about optimizing. So if you are already at that point, you don't need to watch this video. If you are at a point currently where you cannot be slightly profitable or break even for a month of trading straight. And you don't know why that is. Um, those are the people this video is targeted for. And we're going to be talking about how, again, how to bring and how to start bringing that baseline down. Right. So. Pretty much all the content is roughly based around this idea of getting a understanding for where you believe the market is going to go. Where do you think the market's going to trade to? Where do you think the draw on liquidity is? All right. So just again, this video is meant for people who've gone through the content, cannot be profitable for over a month of trading by themselves, 
and are struggling with that. And I want to try to help you get... All right, sorry about that. I had to pause for a minute, but I think I was saying, um, yeah, I'm trying to get you to a point where your your baseline as a trader is profitable, okay? Um, and how do we do this? And, and, and what, what am I talking about when I say uh, you're optimizing too soon? What does this mean? Because um, I think a lot of people uh, are doing this because I see it all the time. This is um, a big topic in the one-on-ones that I do for mentorship. Uh, a lot of people are trying to be good before they're profitable. A lot of people are trying to be wildly profitable before they're profitable. A lot of people are trying to be accurate before they're profitable. And you need to get profitable first. The whole fucking point of being a trader is to get profitable. You're here to make money, not to know where the market's going to go. I don't care if you know where the market's going to go. I care if you know how to be profitable. And that's the whole point. Okay. So I, I really think getting back to the basics is going to help here. So what do I mean when I say optimizing too much? Well, let's take... Uh, let's find an example here on the chart. Alrighty. Let's say you are bullish on NASDAQ for whatever reason. And today is not a day we're going to go in depth about, oh, this is the setups that you're looking for. I'm going to be talking to you about trading. Okay. Let's say you come onto the chart. You're bullish on NASDAQ today. You think that we're going to run higher, of course, because that's what, that's what that would mean if you were bullish. Um, you come in today, you say, okay, these lows, very easy to get ran. And I think that today we are going to uh, run below these lows and we're going to continue higher. This is the liquidity sweep I'm looking for. And then I think that we're going to continue higher and maybe take out something like these highs. For example, um, this could be your idea. So uh, first off, you need to be in the habit of coming up with some sort of pre-session idea okay and i think a lot of people do this and i think a lot of people are actually pretty good at this i've talked to quite a few people where you know they'll be right 50 60 70 percent of the time on their idea and when i say idea i say i mean loose idea i don't mean it's gonna go like this and it's gonna sweep one more time and then run again i mean loose idea i need you to create a loose idea for where price is gonna go okay that's that's backed by something what is backed by overall i'm bullish why am i overall at bullish well there's potentially a couple reasons um in a case uh like this for example like we, we're running all time highs we came back down into the monthly wick okay i guess we'll do a little bit of ta here just to uh put a framework for this individual trade and why uh why somebody might uh end up being a little bit bullish here so uh just so that you could get a, some idea of how i'm trying to get you to write down this initial idea for the day and watch this video. You're not going to want to watch this video because it's not technical analysis, but this video is important. My whole goal as a mentor, my whole goal for teaching people is not to have you running in fucking circles looking for the way to be accurate. I'm trying to get people to make money. Um, and I've successfully done that with a handful of people. There's been a handful of people who have left mentorship uh, because they were making money. There's been a handful of people uh, who I've talked to who were doing well in this regard and it's mostly because they were able to become profitable before they optimize. And that's what we're going to be talking about. Okay. So you might not understand what I'm saying yet, but follow me. Follow with what I'm saying. Okay. So you might be bullish for a handful of reasons. Um, you know, you fell down into um, this chart. You came down last week. Okay. Last week you fell down. This is when Sunday opened. You traded down below this low, swept the low. You were holding and accumulating um, off of the monthly level. Okay. You traded into the weekly volume imbalance, right? There's easy equal highs above you. Okay. And you could say also the projected defined range level. If you don't know what projected defined ranges are yet, don't worry. That's, that's okay. Just, just try to follow what I'm saying. Um, 7450, take this off. Okay. And you have some form of, um, 
reason underneath this this uh, low. So you're in the market. Here's the order block, for example. I'm not using this one. Simply put, it's the lowest closed body in the range. So this is the order block in the market, not this one. I wouldn't use this one. I'd use this one inside of this range. So a handful of reasons why you're bullish, whatever you're bullish. Okay. So what I want you to start doing, if you're not already doing this, is before your trading session, whatever time of day that may be. Okay. If you're trading index futures, that should be um, ideally 5.30 to 6.30 my time, 7.30 to 8.30 my time, or 11 to noon my time. Okay. Um, I need you to start creating some sort of an idea. Okay. Before the session, create some sort of generic idea say i think roughly the market's going to do something like this right it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be specific what i want you to do go open a trading view copy image log this keep this in a log somewhere okay put it where you log your trades put another column where you log your trades and say uh idea for the day okay and what we're going to do is at the end of the day if it's even remotely correct, so for me, like this would be a correct idea because you said that it was going to run these lows and it was going to run higher. So this is a correct idea for the day. I would want you to go into that column and put a mark that says, hey, my idea was correct for the day. What I thought was going to happen, happened. Okay. So now over time, what this is going to do is it's going to build up this correct idea rate. So let's call it the C. Um, correct idea, right? The CIR. Okay. And this is going to be a percentage, maybe over, you know, 50 days, for example, you're right. 25 of the days. So that means your CIR is going to be 50%, which means your correct, your correct, um, idea rate is 50%. Okay. And have that stat. You need to know that stat. If I ask you this randomly, if I ever DM you for some reason, I'm never going to DM you, by the way. Don't answer DMs from accounts. If I'm DMing you, you're going to know I'm DMing you. <laughs> Mark, know this number. And you need to get to a point by any means possible where your win rate is within 10% of your correct idea rate. So if your correct idea rate is 50%, you need to have a 40% win rate before you are able to start optimizing things like your risk to reward. Okay. Which will mean that you're profitable. If your correct uh, idea rate is 40%, you need to have a 30% win rate before we could talk about optimizing your risk to reward before we could talk, talk about optimizing your trading. So what do I mean about optimization? Let's go with the idea that your correct idea rate is 50%. I think this is a solid, achievable thing for most people. Um, you know, on any asset class, you could look back in the history and the probability of a day being an up day or a down day is exactly 50%. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's exactly 50%. So you should, with a little bit of effort and a little bit of TA, be able to have at least a 50% correct idea rate. So that still means out of 100 days, you're going to be wrong on 50 of them. Okay, can you handle that? I don't know if you can, but you need to be able to handle that. If you can't handle that, you can't be a trader. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so you now have this correct idea rate number, and you need to develop your win rate to a point where it's within 10% of that. And here's where most people start failing. They'll do this. Right? They'll fall down. The technical analysis here is not the important part. So the weight, they'll say, yeah, this is my idea, whatever. Um, and then they'll get uh, super chopped up in this and then they'll they'll jump in immediately and they'll try to do shit like this. They'll be like, um, okay, big wick here. I saw nuke taking trades like this. I'm just going to have my stop loss right here. I'm going to target 50 billion R and then they get stopped out. And then they're like, okay, well, uh, mean threshold of this ungained order block. I'm going to go long right here. Okay, it's going to work, and then they get stopped out. Okay, um, internal liquidity sweep. Um, uh, 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 we traded into this fair value gap. Um, fucking order block, mean threshold, whatever. My stop loss is right here. Uh, you know, maybe eventually it works, but by that time, you've already blown your loss limit. Okay. So this is what I mean by premature optimization. 
why are you trying to trade like this? Let me ask you the question. Why, why is it? Is it because you feel like your risk reward needs to be high, extremely high? Well, if you take your CIR, CIR, which is your correct idea rate, let's say that's 50%, that means you need to optimize your win rate to be 40%. How do you do that? You do that by not taking bad losses on your idea for the day. What do I mean? Maybe drop. Wait for more confirmation here, okay? So if I'm sitting in this trade waiting, wait a little bit. Okay, price pushes up. We swept lows. This is this is good. My idea is starting to play out. Boom, we create this fair value gap. My idea is starting to play out. Um, maybe at this point in time, I just take the fair value gap. But where's my stop loss? I don't give a shit. Put it underneath the fucking range, bro. Put it under the range. Yeah, you might only get 2.7R. Okay, maybe try to get down into this order block, for example. Try to get three, whatever. But the thing is, this is going to be a trade with a protected stop. Like when I look at this position, don't come in immediately. If you're not making money trading, don't come in and say, how can I get the most risk to reward out of this trade? Come in and say, how can I play my idea so that if I take a loss, it's because my idea was wrong not because I took a bad trade, okay? You want to get to a point where all the losses you take are losses that happen because your idea was wrong, not because you're taking a trade that's trying to optimize for something like risk-reward even though you're not making any fucking money yet, okay? So if you could take a position like this, I don't care if the risk-reward is fucking small because guess what? If your, if your correct idea rate's 50%, this is profitable. 2.8R is profitable if your correct idea is right. Is that? I don't know if it fills. In this case, it doesn't, but that's just an example. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. And sometimes it won't fill. And that's okay if it doesn't fill. Uh, maybe you did this on the five minute chart, for example. The, the setup that I teach, right? And you'll have to mess around with time frames, see what you want. But most importantly, when you have your idea, find the stop loss. Find the stop loss that protects your idea. So in this case, you run, you sweep liquidity, high that brought you to the low, closed, okay, fair value gap, take the fair value gap, where do you want to put your stop loss on this, okay, just put it underneath the low, okay, where are you targeting, well, where was your idea, you said that your idea was up into these highs, right, so just target these highs, I don't care where the market goes higher, and don't try to get in to this motherfucker down here and optimize away your damn stop loss, get a billion R when you're not making any fucking money yet because you're just optimizing nothing. You're literally optimizing nothing. Okay? Don't come into here and be like, oh, well, Nuke does this, so I'm going to go uh, midpoint of this wick because it was a big wick in this fair value gap and it's time to go, blah, blah, blah. You're not ready for that. I'm sorry to say, but you're not. And it's not going to work for you. I could do that because I'm very good at this because I spent a long time doing this. Okay? I spent a long time utilizing safe stops so I could get profitable because right now what you're doing is you're losing money and you're trying to optimize that. So what are you doing? You're optimizing a losing trader to lose more money. Whereas if your baseline was slightly profitable or break even and then you try to optimize, what are you doing? You're optimizing a winning trader. Okay. So there's a big difference there. So what I'm suggesting is that if you cannot be profitable or break even um, for a month of trading straight. Stop worrying about your entries in totality. Do not give a single shit about where your entry is again. What I want you to do is come to an idea and ask yourself, where is the safe stop loss? If I was to get stopped down on this trade, would I be happy? Okay, would it be a good loss? Okay, and then just get okay risk reward. Take your 3R, take your 4R, take your 2R. Whatever you need to take in order to get profitable or get break even because that's the whole point. If your uh, CIR, your correct idea rate is 50% and your win rates should be 40%. Your win rate should get to about 10, within 10% 10 of your idea rate for you to know that you're doing this correctly. And then once that happens, you could sit down and slowly start to optimize your entries, slowly start to optimize your risk reward. But you need to get to a point where your baseline is profitable because that's the only thing that matters. You're not here to fucking 
dilly dabby and, and be accurate and, and, and pretend like you're making money when you're fucking not. Okay. You're not here to sit down and pretend like you're accurate when you're not. And I, I, I hate to say that, but that's what a lot of fucking traders do. They sit down and, and they like, seriously, like they sit down and, and then, you know, they're trying to over optimize risk reward when they're not making any fucking money yet. And then they finally hit a win and they just feel so fucking proud of themselves. They pat themselves on the back. It's like, bro, you're hunting for fucking dopamine. That's all you're doing. You're hunting for dopamine. Are you trying to trade or are you trying to solve a puzzle? Because most traders, it seems like they're trying to solve a fucking puzzle and not make money. You're not here to solve a fucking puzzle. You're here to make money. So make money. Stop lying to yourself that you're ready to do things like I do. You can't do that yet. And eventually one day you'll be able to do that. And I know you'll be able to do that. But I went through it the hard way. You see the result of that. I did what I'm telling you to do here, which is to not care about your risk reward. Don't care about your entry. Care about your stop loss. Care about having a safe position and care about playing your idea. Okay. And once you can do that, then you could optimize. I'm going to show you a couple examples because I still trade this way. Not on my day trading account, in my swing trading account. So I want to show you a few, ex I want to show you a, a couple examples. And the examples that I show you are going to be recent because I trade all the time. Okay. I was swing trading Euro JPY this week. Okay. And let me give you some baseline for as to why I did what I did. Okay. I think that Euro JPY is overall moving up, right? We swept super external lows. I think this high is potentially suspect for now. We'll see if that happens. I don't know if that's going to happen because I don't know what the market's going to do. Just like you don't know what the fucking market's going to do. Okay. We had this inversion fair value gap here. Okay. Inversion fair value gap inside of this wick at the midpoint of this wick. Here. Here you go. Drop down on a lower time frame here. But what I was waiting for and what I wanted to see was now I just need some form of like liquidity to be swept. And guess what I got? I got the liquidity sweep, right? Underneath these lows, liquidity was swept. And then um, we pushed up and we had this giant wick. This to me showcases uh, this willingness to have like this rejection. Okay. So we swept lows. Externally, I'm bullish. Okay. We came into a high time frame level. I have uh, price action supporting my idea. You want to know where I entered? You want to know where I entered? I'll show you. I think price was trading like, I'm pretty sure price was trading like right here when I took my position. Um, and all I did was I just got in with a stop loss uh, at the low targeting this return into, firstly, uh, this inversion for value gap as kind of the first spot where I thought that we could stop. And then to me, when I see inside this inversion for value gap as the first start spot, we could really stop as easy as target. I see this normal fair value gap. I also see the equal highs up here. So there's a few places that I could target in this trade. Either I could go for these equal highs. How much are is that? Or are? That's great. That's great. Because I don't give a shit about my entry in this trade. This not that great. You know, you start to look at places like inside the midpoint of this uh, daily inversion for value gap here. Can, can Does this offer enough R for me? Is this 2.3? That's fucking enough. That's fucking enough. Because you know what? My correct idea rate is fucking high. It's like 75%. 80%. And guess what? You want to know what my win rate is for swing trades? 70, 65 to 70% is my win rate. Can I take a 2.2 R trade? Yes, the fuck I can, bro. Do I give a single shit about my entry? No, the fuck I don't. Because I'm just trying to print money. That's what my swing trading account is supposed to be. And when you're beginning day trading, that's what you should be trying to do as well. It's just print money. You shouldn't be trying to optimize away your risk reward and shit. Eventually you can, right? Oh, I knew why <laughs> you're one to talk. You're the person that's out here, you know, making 60 R average every single month. I am making 60 R average every single month. And guess what? I'm only doing that because I'm profitable because I make money. So I'm allowed to optimize myself. 
if you're not fucking making money, you're not fucking allowed to optimize yourself. And that's the end of the story. That is the end of the story. That's it. You need to fix your foundations. You need to fix your foundations. You have to. Otherwise, you're you're just going to fail. And as a mentor, I do not want you to fail. So what I'm telling you might seem counterintuitive, but I know it has to be done. Otherwise, you're going to fucking fail. I don't think 90% of traders lose money because 90% of traders are bad at TA and 90% of traders can't go to good entries. I think 90% of traders lose money because they're holding them damn selves back. I think every single one of you are already profitable and you don't even know it. But you're not letting yourself realize that profitability. And because of that, you are ruining your chances of success. So yeah. Optimize nothing before you're profitable. Become profitable before you become good at trading. Okay, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, make your baseline that. Do what I said in this video. Uh, write down your, your correct idea rate, your CIR or whatever, and, and, and get your win rate close to that. Okay, and this goes for whatever TA you do. I don't give a shit if you're just in my Patreon tier and you do some other form of TA. I do not care. I do not care. What I care about is you having the chance at ever becoming successful in trading. And this is how you can have that chance. Um, and I want every single one of you to succeed. And the harsh reality is not every single one of you is going to succeed. Anyways, um, that's the video. Uh, hope you, hopefully that, you know, helps somebody or, or helped anybody. And, uh, I'll see you in the next one.